Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We are back with another episode of Ephemeral Tell, a fun, classically inspired, turn-based RPG game. And that's kind of what we do. We get games, we find games, we find these games, we go out and look, show them off that are inspired by the retro games, but with a modern twist or some modernization to it. So a little bit of old, a little bit of new, and a whole lot of fun. And we just came out of the cave in the last episode. We dealt with the cave and kind of a tutorial area. And here we are. Ah, you arrive. It would seem the time has come for another tale to unfold. I wonder how you'll look back on this. I am the keeper of this place. You could think of me as a caretaker of sorts. As such, it is my duty to help you channel the power you will find throughout your adventures into something more tangible. Perhaps a demonstration is order. Come, I will show you. No, oh, I gotta actually come to him, huh? <laughs> Whoops. I can help you channel your power into something more tangible. However, once I've started, I will be unable to halt the process until it is complete. Now reflect upon the difficulties you've overcome this far. The enemies you've bested, the wounds incurred. We get skills, we get all kinds of gym skills. And this, we'll explain that in just a minute. Those skill gems hold but a few of the countless secrets of this place. Deep within their crystalline structures, should you come across a fire at which to rest, you may find them most useful, Stingray. The power that you'll find throughout your adventures will have more than one use. There are others that may be able to use it to in more untraditional ways. But beyond that, there lies another purpose to it. Follow me if you would. I will. Any, any who wish to enter this sacred place may, should they be willing to forfeit their power, place your hand upon the pedestal if you would. So we get to put a little bit of power on this pedestal and then we're able to unlock that door. Look at that. We walk right in. Isn't that just nice? Three ancients hold the power needed to carve your path. You'll need to seek them out and obtain their blessing. The Forgotten Forest. The Occluded Oasis. The Corrupted Castle. There are three paths to walk, three blessings to obtain. Where would you like to begin your journey? So we start, we did a little bit of the Forgotten, forgotten Forest in the demo. So let's go with something different. Let's go out with the Occluded Oasis and start there. Very well. The occluded oasis has only recently become visible to me again. It is a strange place, one that seems to ebb and flow into existence at will. Sometimes I wonder what wills it to reveal itself. The way forward is now open. When you've gathered the power needed, you can find me at the camp to the south. Be careful, Stingray, as you grow in strength. So too will the corruption that rules your foes. So I get stronger, my enemies get stronger. That's very typical. Okay, so what did he do? He took some of my power, and if you could see kind of the off to the left, right under my image, you got attack, defense, magic attack, magic defense, agility. Right under that is my power. Once it's kind of think of it like experience, I get that when I defeat enemies, then I go and to that guy that I was just talking to and he takes that power 
and puts them into these skill gems. He takes the power and manifests it into these skill gems. And then I can take those skill gems if I'm at a fire and um, add those into skill points in a skill tree, which we saw in the last episode. And I'll try to get to that again at the end of this episode. So let's jump in and see what the occluded oasis has for us. I'm quite interested. There was a lot of cute and fun and interesting uh, creatures in the Forgotten Forest. So I'm really excited to see what's in store for us. And I'm hoping, I'm thinking because it gives you the choice to go wherever you want, that the enemies are going to be um, scaled so that they're going to be the same strength as you are. I really like the waviness of this. It kind of makes me feel that the we're in this really arid, hot desert. And I kind of like that. That effect is really cool. Let's go up here and see. Kind of just wandering around. I'd like to get to that little uh, treasure chest, but I'm not sure that I can do that quite yet. Walk around. There is random encounters in here. Yeah, so there's no way for me to get to that treasure chest yet. Um, there is random encounters, so whenever it decides to give me uh, get attacked is when we'll pop up. But until then, we'll look, just kind of keep on searching and see if we can find anything interesting. Um, I don't think any of this stuff really does anything. Um, one of the things I do like about this game, I like how the battles take place in a typical, uh, especially turn-based RPGs. You either have this forward facing that is in this one, um, or the side facing where your your um, heroes are like lined up along the right. Um, I've also seen them lined up along the bottom. So that's like the third person view, but I like this more uh, first person view where you don't really see your character. You're just looking into the enemies. And that guy right there is very scary. That merman, although the tame are pretty cute little turtles. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. He's a little creepy there. Um, I'm not liking, <laughs> I'm not liking the way he looks. He's looking at me kind of funny. Um, okay, although the merman seems to be waiting, I probably should have, um, yeah, it seems like the canes are attacking me. I should have, I should watch that though because I really, really, would want to attack who's attacking me and not who's waiting um that would really you know not be helpful to me <laughs> to attack the only person that's attacking me probably not the best idea so yeah i really like this way um the i think final fantasy and maybe more of them have um final fantasy series as far as i know have the uh the battle lays out so that the heroes are on the right. Um, I don't know if other ones do. I'm sure other ones along the way have as well. But I really do like this kind of just looking in at them and not even seeing the uh, enemies along the bar, the heroes lined up along the bottom. I just like this straight on, uh, you know, like first person view there. Oh, I didn't even get any items. I did get some energy though. I guess that's good. Um, I do have some health potions that we might need to use eventually. Kind of just hoping that we can find something. Uh, we're wandering off fairly far and I'm a little worried. Um, hope we can find a, I hope that we can either get back or we find something that, uh, Ooh, okay. That thing is <laughs> sluggers. Okay. So the, okay. Occluded Oasis is not cute at all. <laughs> That's we're gonna make that. Yeah, it's this is just um, Yeah, kind of creepy <laughs> um, Yeah, the 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 slimes and the creatures in the Forgotten Force was was definitely uh, on the cute end and these guys don't uh, Not quite as cute a little bit more Real I guess you could say we found a potion. That's awesome but uh, I would really like to find something, <laughs> you know, something that's useful or going to take me somewhere. I mean, levels are always good. I'll take experience, 
but I haven't really found anything uh, to do or anything that's going to put us somewhere. I don't think there was anything. I was just over there, wasn't I? Yep. Really like that wavy kind of image, mirage kind of feel to it. Okay, so let, yeah, let's go ahead and attack these. The merman, oh, the merman attacked that time. Well, let's just, I guess, just keep on attacking this guy. Um, I do get a came A waits. Why is came A waiting? Is it because I'm hitting him? He waits? I wonder why some of them wait. That doesn't make sense to me. I would think they would either attack or guard or, you know, something that would, um, you know, help them out because I can guard. Um, that would allow me to, it also appears that I'm healing as well. So I'm, I'm not sure why I'm healing, but something seems to give me a little bit of a healing every turn. One of my items do, which is I'm nice. I'm, I'm okay with that, but I'm, I'm curious as what it is. See, I got a guard. I could escape, um, but I don't have a wait option. And I'm curious as to why you would want to wait. Okay, I got a repair kit. A turtle shellment. Okay. Well, I like that. That sounds good. Uh, let's check in our items or our equipment and see what we could do. I really need something better weapon. That's something that would be very helpful. So I got this helm. And, oh, we got two. Okay. So we got two of these at level six. I would like to have this one because it's a shield and a helmet. Sweet. It's, um, durability is a lot higher. But wow, that seems to be a lot off from what I have, to be honest. My defense goes up, my attack goes way down. I'm not sure I really like that. Uh, my HP goes up, but I'm still not 100% sure that's the best choice for me. Uh, armless vest, yeah, no. Uh, there was something else I got and I can't remember. Oh, the leather gloves I can use So I could do booties Can I put on two pairs of boots that doesn't seem quite right um, Hmm at the ring so I can do level Yeah, my evade goes down. There's so much odd choices here. I'm not sure what would be the best choice? Got a booties level two. This armor has no abilities. I wonder why some are blue and some are green. It really doesn't tell me that. Wow, I'm, yeah, I don't think that I got anything that really uh, is going to help me out. The gloves are kind of nice, but my luck hit, evade, and crit all go down, and I don't really like that. I don't want that stuff to go down, but my, but all my attack, defense, magic, and magic defense goes up. Um, my magic power goes down too. We can always switch them around and see and see how that works out. Figure out, uh, let's play with the items a little bit. That's going to be an interesting thing to see the combination of items and how it does. I know there's a big item portion of the game to be able to have items and what items are good and to find the items and that's a big thing the nearby water is draining okay oh wow that changed the world completely i wonder now if i can go on to that one place oh wow we got caves and whoa that just really opened up the world here and i'm a little scared <laughs> Woo-wee, we got some stuff to go through. Let's grab that. We got a pirate's map. Wonder what that does. Can I equip that? Is that like an accessory I can equip? Pirate's map. Huh, interesting. Definitely a lot of little things that's gonna make big difference overall. I'm gonna be a very physical, this guy I believe is gonna be a very physical. So I'm not gonna to worry too much about magic attack. The magic defense though would be good. But let's go ahead and change that out. And uh, there we go. 
I would like to go up here. Oh no, we got we got an, a company. Ooh, little uh um scorpion scorp peon peon. It's a scorpion that's a peon. It's a scorp peon. I like that. That's clever. Very humorous um play on words kind of. Let's ow ow ow. I don't I wonder now. I does it look like I'm getting my something is gonna have to I gotta look through those things because uh something was healing me up and I don't it doesn't look like I'm getting that healing now uh so we're gonna have to go back and figure out what that was because I really liked that that was really nice to have that uh hit or that healing every time or that uh every little bit of healing that crit was nice too so what did I change out here um my gloves what was on my booties i had level four booties or something oh grants five percent hp regeneration i did not see that i really want that i like that um although we have the shoot now the necklace so the necklace has no increases the amount of random chests that's kind of cool so some things have a random ability attached to them as well as their stand like general stuff to them. So I would kind of, so nothing has any abilities. So I'm kind of looking, uh, the necklace. Let's go with the level six gloves would probably be a better idea here let's go with that and then we'll keep that ring on because i really do would like that uh healing over time that's definitely going to be a good thing i hope that is not a butter knife level four that's hilarious i want the better <laughs> butter knife level four um oh it gives me a plus one to attack sweet we got it so got to do that non-critical hits do 50 percent damage Critical hits do 150% damage. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and grab the butter knife level four. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's too good. Uh, I would like to go in that cave for a little bit, actually, and see what we got. We would like to make it back to the um, fireplace, though, too. Uh-oh, we, we opened up a mimic. Uh-oh, a rare enemy appear appears. So hopefully, ow. That guy went nowhere. Um, let's grab me a potion on me. Um, but I really didn't do any damage to him. This is going to be such an ugly attack. I love ugly battle here. Um, come on, we can do this. It's oh, at least I'm healing up, which is good. Wow, 143 damage there. That was a good one. Nice crit, it looks like um i'm holding it up that's good okay 24 really is not doing it for me <laughs> okay he's missing that's good that's good that's good um oh it looks like we almost got him a mimic i love mimics mimics are such a fun creature um i've been playing D and i've gotten to D and um school of power is good we'll have to check some of those out um yeah, it lasts. It's probably been about a year, but I've just been getting into D and D, and it's a lot of fun. And um, I really like mimics. Mimics are an interesting uh, enemy, I guess you could say. Let's see what else we got. We got this has no ability, but see that is grants fifteen percent defense, lowers attack by ten percent. Uh, wonder what a chrome does. Ooh, grants five percent thorns. So that means if something hits me, it's going to do damage to itself. Continuous victories empowers enemies. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Um, from dome, then we got two. I really don't want my attack to suffer at my defense. I'm much more of an attacker than a defender, I think. Um, no, no touching. Can't get mad. I uh, definitely don't really want that either, I guess. I'm trying to think of what I want out of my character right now, and I'm not 100% sure exactly what I want. 
Um, I'm not sure what there is. The equipment is going to make a big difference on how this equipment plays out and the items. I know no items. I played Diablo 1 and 2 very much. And Diablo as a series is a very item heavy series. And I'm curious how this is going to stand, stack up. And it's just so much that's going to be evolved. This door is too heavy for you to open yourself. Maybe someone else is strong enough to open it. Okay, interesting. Do these things tell me anything? It looks like Egyptian area. So I'm very curious as to see how these items, because you can have a character in Diablo 1 or 2 that is very powerful, but if you don't have good items, then you're really going to suffer as you try to play through the game. And I wonder how much the items, it seems so far, the items are going to be a big deal. But um, we're just going to have to s wait and see. There's another cave that we can go through. I'm going to try to get back to the camp and see what we got there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's going well so far. I wonder if I have to go down... Probably we'll have to find another way down, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Slugger. Wow, we took him out pretty easily. Sweet. I like it. But it seems with the butter knife, I either do like a lot of damage or like very little damage. Um, and I'm not sure. I either do like 24 or like 150 and it, and maybe that's why it's 50 percent of a normal attack instead of 100 and then on a crit so i do half as much damage on a normal attack but if i crit i do 150 percent of a normal crit so that's kind of interesting that makes crits really powerful but my normal attacks really weak and I'm, now that i'm thinking about it i'm not sure i like that um, I'm trying to find, I got a Chrome Dome level six, which does nothing for me. HP and MP, but everything else drops. My crit chance goes up. My luck goes up quite a bit too. So maybe I'm trying to find that. I got a cloak of some sort and I'm not sure where it goes. No, well, I thought it said a cloak. I would have thought it would have been head or... Oh, there it is, cloakless hood. I just, there's a lot of stuff that could go here. Okay, so Armin has no abilities and no abilities. Yeah, I think I'm just holding a hold on right here where I am. There we go. Let's see if we can, I gotta wander my way back to the, I'm not sure I know the way back to the, to the, uh, to the out of this place that's the where i want to be i want to get that treasure chest i think this is the way back out but i like this area so far it's it's fun it's interesting that it has unique creatures in it um so definitely a plus there definitely has a different feel to it than the forest i really do like that wave the waveiness to it it just adds that atmosphere of a desert it's hot there's heat, uh, that sort of thing. But uh, there we go. We are back out. And then we could run down to the... Leave the area. Yes, I do want to leave the area. And then we'll go show off the little forest or the um, the resting, the camp that the uh, funny guy was talking about. One thing I do think is interesting is when you go down the ladders, it turns the character around, which is kind of cool. It's something very simple but you would be going down a ladder that way. I mean, you turn your back, you know, your front is onto the rungs of the ladder when you go down a ladder. Most often, I think that's the way I would go down a ladder uh, typically, but you know, I'm not gonna knock it if you wanna go down a ladder a different way. It just uh, doesn't look very uh, safe any other way. So I got two magic water, whoa, we got all kinds of stuff there. Um, we do got these people here. They will give me, yeah. So I could, a, a customer, not right now, but trying to think about how best to get my hands on some of those crystalline essences. 
Okay. So I can actually hire some of these people. I guess not him yet, but there are people around here. Eventually, it looks like I will. Well, I guess not quite yet. The demo had a couple of people that I could hire. So we'll have to eventually see how we unlock those people. We're going to come up him and see if he'll give me a couple more of these. Yes, it take around 77 power. Sweet. We get some more skill gems. Awesome. That seems like the biggest use of power right now. Uh, maybe the only. So we can go in our skill tree. The skill tree seems pretty simple. So we get a flask, a reusable healing flask. Let's unlock that. Stat up, gain three to all stats. Nice. Here where we could do some stuff. So we could either do an arcane bolt. Um, deal spirit damage to a single enemy. Um, or we can go up here and do a double strike that enemy hits twice as many times of a normal attack So I want that I would like to have that double attack. That'd be pretty cool And then I can go in here and get my oh nice 25 to hit points and then I could move Okay, I can't get that because it requires me to be level seven and I'm not level seven yet obviously um, the last thing we could do here is is we can go in here and uh, rest which will allow us to get all our heal healing potions back and our um, our heal health points and our magic points back basically um, I believe the power might be the green bar might be our way to getting our level I'm not sure about that so that's our progress um, uh, to get to level 7 um, I don't know if 83 means that I need 83, you know, to get to the next level or uh, if the next level's at 83. It doesn't really seem to say either way, but we'll just have to go. So what else do we got here? We got a bunch of items. Let's see, stimulate. We could do the scroll of power, which allows us to get, I think, some more gems. Don't we get another gem after that? Yeah, so we got a skill gem off of that. Oh, wait, I didn't want to check equipment. I wanted to check items. Let's see what we got here. Skill gems. Yeah, we got two skill gems. I like that the skill gems are inside my inventory, so I know how many I have. That's pretty cool. Um, we got repair kits. I'm curious, though. Um, I would like to see... Um, if some of these things like have the like the accessory the ring has it says durability 67 I would like to see the full durability. Um, I would like to see like a 67 slash 100 I would like to see the 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 amount that is Left or the amount that is the full version So then I know when to use a repair kit because 67 doesn't really mean much if the full durability is 70, but if it's 150, hey, that's half off. I need to get it repaired. Um, so I kind of need to think about that. Um, that butter life, I'm not sure I like. Um, it's interesting, but um, yeah, not 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 real wonderful there. Um, the swashbuckling rapier grants the intimidate skill. I don't know what that does, but we can look into that. Increases magic damage by 20% lowers mana cost by 20% that's kind of cool But we're much more of a swords kind of person. We're gonna do like a sword and board kind of character I think just to keep it fairly simple here um, But that yeah that ring regeneration is really nice and I like that quite a bit um, Other than that, I think we are good to go um, Here we go um, we got three accessory slots, a weapon, a head, and a body. Not too bad. It's a fairly generic uh, setup, but I'm happy with it. I like the uh, abilities that I can get. So we have items. We have magic items. We're, let's go ahead and save it really quick. Um, so there's quite a bit here. Um, not only in the items we can get, but it does appear that items can be magical or non-magical. Um... So they can grant us a little bit of extra benefit there. Um, I'm going to go and keep this up. This is a lot of, this game is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this. 
we're gonna be doing a, probably a pretty full playthrough of here as it is in early access now and i'm going to keep on trying to cover it as well as any updates that come along or changes to it as we play through it we'll point out some changes if things have changed as well but uh that's all i got for this episode thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye everybody